Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. I'm sorry, but some of you are going to hate me. But today we're going to be blasting Gurgling Gore Productions, Wharf Lurch, Psychic Realms of Hell. I've tried for a couple weeks now to get into this, and I can't do it. I just can't. I really like, and I really like the demo stuff. I like Shit Slime. I really like Lurking Doom, but I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on why I can't get into Psychic Realms of Hell. I, I really don't know if it's all the tie-dye stuff, if it's... I kind of feel like Wharf Lurch took over for Sanga Sugabog. Like, I feel like Sanga Sugabog is taking themselves a lot more seriously since Cameron's departure. And that's evident with their live in the studio recording that they did. I think the day after they made the announcement that Cameron was out, but I just feel like they made up for that full-length record by, you know, killing it with that live studio recording. It was just, like, on the money for brutal death metal. Like, it sounded fucking great. But, I don't know. Like, Wharf Lurch, to me, is one of those bands where I prefer the demo material to the full length. I mean... And I love psychedelics, too, but, like, the whole stoned ape theory and everything, like, it's like the Joe Rogan death metal album of the year. If you're into that type of, you know, like, theories about the primordial mushroom, like, Worf Lurch has definitely seen the film Altered States a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great fucking movie. And we share artists. My band, uh, we used L Rusted Winds. And I really like his skeleton right here. This moldering. It's colored on the cover. And the cover, you know, if you're into super colorful death metal covers and fucking A. I'm more of a fan of the uh, very minimal, you know, I, I, I just, I love, but at the same time, you know, I, I do love myself some gnarly fucking artwork, but there's just something about these uh, tunes that I just really can't get into. I mean, you got six tracks, which are each levels, and I don't know, I just... I can't get into it. Like, here, check it out. Because I know a lot of you love this. releases that everybody's like dude like, how come you can't get into it I, I, I really don't know I, I, I just don't like 
considering how much, you know, I really do enjoy psychedelics and whatnot, there's just something I can't put my finger on that I just, I don't know. But, as I've said before, I already know a lot of you love this band, love this album, and I do understand why, but it just kind of went over my head, and, you know, it is what it is, but... Like I said, I'm sure a lot of you will like this and be like, why the fuck, like, like what, why, why aren't you into it? And I legit blame stuff like this. Because, like, I'd rather just listen to Immolation. I'm a fucking, see, I get, ugh, that's the problem when it comes to me and certain releases. Because, like, legit, I'll just be like, ah. I, like, I want to listen to Failure for the Gods. Like, I just... Failure for Gods. Like, I just... I don't know. I'm weird like that. Like, I'll go to put something on and then remember, like, oh, yeah, you have, like, a fucking immolation box set. But... Like, I've had this for about a month now. And I've tried multiple times to get into it. And I just can't. And, um, you know, like I said, some of you will definitely and already love Psychedelic Realms of Hell, but I just couldn't get into it. I prefer the demo material just a little bit more, just because I just liked the way it sounded, and, you know, it was just kind of minimal with the art, and it was just, like, fucking sick, but... I feel like this is just super busy, there's a lot going on, and it's all in the name of being psychedelic and like weird and trying to not sound like your stereotypical 2021 death metal band, but I feel like it's pretty, you know, on point of what is 2021 American death metal and to me it's kind of you know when it comes to the merchandise and cosmetic side of things what I don't like about current death metal glow in the dark merchandise glow in the dark t-shirts just bought it hurts my head now, I'm guilty of owning a tie-dye metal t-shirt, but it was in 2004, 2005, and it was a, a Life Once Lost Riffs and Spliffs t-shirt. And uh, I always felt weird wearing it, because like, I wasn't a hippie, but... Yeah, I mean, I get why a lot of you younger kids also really you know, enjoy Warf, Warf Lurch, they have a heavy social media presence, uh, but to me, it's all about the music, and it just, I don't know, I, I just can't, I, I can't figure it out, like, there's just something about it that just doesn't flip that switch that makes me be like, fuck yeah, and, you know. It is what it is, but Worf Lurch, again, I apologize, but I could just not get into psychic, psychedelic realms of hell, and they spelled of O-V, which I fucking hate. I can't stand that, but it's, it's a minor, minor thing. It's no big deal, but yeah, you know, if you're about the mighty mushroom and you want some cool lyrics about like you know mushrooms and death and going into psychedelic hell it's worth your time i'd say but i just couldn't get into it musically I don't know if it was the production, I don't know what it was, but 
there was something about it I just wasn't feeling. So I apologize, folks, but I could not get into some of your favorite tunes, which happens to be Wharf Lurch, Psychedelic Realms of Hell on Gurgling Gore. Thank you, Big Daddy Gore, for sending this my way. I just, I couldn't get into it. And I've been, you know, kind of like I said, on a brutal death metal kick. But, like, it has nothing to do with that. I just... Because, you know, I was listening... I'm seeing Blood Incantation tonight, so I was being a nerd and listening to Star Spawn. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to listen to this again after listening to Star Spawn, which was probably a bad idea. Because I was like, you know, to me, if I'm going to eat some mushrooms and listen to some tunes... Yo, I'm listening to the Blood Incantations fucking catalog. Like, it's just, it's a no-brainer to me. Like, that's just, like, fucking A. But this, I feel like it's kind of trying too hard to send you down that route to where, like, you know, please don't take, like, cough medicine and try and, you know, trip out and enjoy this be safe do shit the right way like especially if you're gonna fuck around with you know the mighty psilocybin mushroom it's not something to be played with it is you know you might think of it as a joke like oh dude i'm tripping ball no it's a fucking like it's something that should be respected should be treated with the utmost fucking respect. It's the legit, like, the, the fungus and the psilocybin that lies within that unleashes that feeling of experience, enlightenment, and terror. At times, it all depends. Set and setting is very important. And again, some of you might be like, what the fuck are you talking about? What does that have to do with worth Worf Lurch? Well, like I said, to me this is kind of like, hey, eat mushrooms. And hey, if you're a grown adult, you're a grown adult. Do what you gotta do. But, if you're like 13, and you know, you're just getting into death metal, and this is your favorite band, and you wanna go down, you know, your own psychedelic realm of hell, don't. Just wait. For real. I'm being dead fucking serious right now. Wait. Until you're at least 18. And I'm not trying to be like the fun police. I'm being dead fucking serious. You should not fuck around and just be like, oh, I feel like tripping. No. That's not how it works. And if you are going to abuse the fucking, you know, mushroom, whatever. Like, I... I I don't, it's not my life, like, you know, go ahead, do you, that's just not me. Like, to me, that's like a once a year, you know, thing, and it's a big deal. It's like, like, the next time that I get those things, I have a very big life decision to make. Because, like, right now, it feels like I got a baseball bat to the back of my head. My neck is killing me. And, like, my broken tooth is just, oh, my God, it's fucking throbbing. Nothing I can do. Like, legit, there's nothing I can do right now. But the decision I have to make is, do I ride my bike again after some of the muscles heal on my neck? Because the bones healed. The muscles, no. I have a long long way to go and I might never 
be a hundred. I, I actually, I, I will never. I, I hate fucking saying this, and I haven't said this publicly yet. I'll never be a hundred percent again. Yeah, I've come to terms with this, and it is what it is. Like, at first, I was feeling sorry for myself, like. Because imagine doing something and having it kind of dictate where you are just in life, period. Like, my whole, well, since fifth grade, everything has been about riding bikes. And over the past six months, having that ripped away from me due to a fucking malfunction and being told you got lucky like you're lucky you're even talking you're lucky you're alive you're lucky you can move and yes I am I'm lucky I was wearing a helmet but one more head injury and show's over I was told if I, and like, this also has to do with shows. I have to be extremely careful, like, at tonight's show. I mean, nobody's dumb enough to be crowd surfing or stage diving during Blood Incantation, I hope. But, you know... I'm going to see if I can maybe stand behind the merch table just to be safe. Because last time, I mean, we were in a massive fucking room at the Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. So, like, and I have my neck bra I'm going to wear my neck brace tonight just so people know. Please don't fucking touch me. Like, it, like I'm still hurt. You have to, like, you got to leave me alone. So... If you see me tonight, I'm prob I'm going to have my neck brace on. I will not share weed with you. I apologize. I do not share joints, blunts, bongs, bowls. No. It's 2021. We can't be doing that shit anymore with, you know, everything that's going on. So, don't be fucking stupid. Don't be sharing blunts with... Some, you know, crew you never met from New York. Just because you don't have weed today. Don't. It's fucking, like, seriously, you're just, you're just taking a stupid risk. But, yeah. When it comes back to the release at hand, Wharf Lurch, Psychedelic Realms of Hell. You know, you get some doomy, weird, psychedelic death metal that I know some of you will definitely enjoy. It just, you know, went over my head a little bit, and which is strange because I really love, you know, for example, Pink Floyd Echoes. I love Tangerine Dream. You know, I love some weird, like, fucking San early Santana. I love that shit. But I don't know. I just couldn't get into the psychedelic aspects of Wharf Lurch. It just felt like it wasn't organic. It felt like it was kind of, hey, let's make this as weird as possible. And there's nothing wrong with that. But especially in death metal, we need shit like that. But it just, I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me on a personal level. And, you know, that's... It, I don't have anything else to say. I'm sorry I rambled. Once I started talking about my neck, I, I just, I don't know, I got all serious and I apologize. I've just, I, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Like, legit, I had a rough sleep. And it, it really does. It feels like somebody hit me with a baseball bat, like, right here. And it sucks. Like, it, it fucking hurts. 
and you can feel like I don't even, it's it sucks. That's all I'm gonna say. It fucking sucks. But yeah, I I just couldn't get into psychedelic realms of hell, gurgling gore. But you know, I do know this is some of your album of the year, so I do get why some of you like it. But I don't know if it's because I'm a fucking geezer. But it just went over my head, and I just went back to listening to Immolation. So, sorry. I tried, but thank you again to Gurgling Gore, and thank you for watching, you fucking rule. I suggest sticking to the demos when it comes to Worf Lurch, but give the full length a listen, because, like I said, I, I bet you'll like it. I just, you know, like... I've been listening to a lot of miasmic necrosis also and like impure kind of just like the opposite end of like stuff that's not really you know serious sounding at times I've been listening to a lot more like serious fucking you know brutality and stuff and I don't know especially like the new malignant altar like holy fuck like, this is death metal, kids. Wow. And yes, this is death metal, too, but I really feel like this is, you know, like, if you just got out of the Black Dahlia murder and you're looking for, like, a band that's not Gate Creeper to help you learn more about the underground, check out Psychedelic Realms of Hell by Warf Lurch. I think this is a very good beginner's record. Like, if you're new to death metal and death doom metal, yeah, I would definitely check this out over bands like Gate Creeper and stuff like that. This is definitely more interesting and more outside of the box and will lead you down more rabbit holes, I would say. But watch the film Altered States if you're under the age of making the decision of, you know, going on a journey inside of your own brain. Because it is not for everybody. And I really feel like that needs to be stated. And just, you know, I get it might sound cool and stuff, but hey, bad trips are a real fucking thing. I've had one. I'm sure some of the dudes in Wharf Lurch have had them. I really hope they're not one of those bands that, you know, like, I forget who I was talking to. They were like, dude, I bet Electric Wizard don't even have motorcycles. <laughs> I forget who I was talking to. And they said that. I thought it was the fucking funniest thing in the world. I don't know. I just thought it was so funny. It would be like if Sleep was a straight edge band. <laughs> I mean, I used to listen to Sleep when I was straight edge, but like, I don't know. That, that's just my opinion, but I couldn't get into it. This video is just dragging on. I'm sorry, but as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails.